Having trouble finding that special soulmate? Oh, I know. Are you ready to find love? So what do you think your ideal mate is? This I can solve for you. Check out Secrets of Birthdays, The Love and Lust Report at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello my captains and welcome now to Thursday. Sunny, creative, childlike, and playful. That's my prediction today for the Capricorns. This is an excellent play date. The moon is in chapter three of Taurus and the sun has no ruling planet. Let's start with the moon. With the moon in the last stages of Taurus, this is an excellent time to invest in your heart chakra. By now in the transit, you should have worked through the lower vibrations of what your heart is or isn't or pain or childhood issues and that not and whatnot. By now, you should be ready to go out and explore something you love. If you've not given yourself a play date in the last two days, you best ought to do that. Now, play dates do count as being creative, anything that involves your heart, so romances count here. Playing with your children, if you have children, certainly counts. Basically, you just want to engage your inner child and bring him or her to today's conversation. And this is an excellent day to create and dream. This is the dreaming part of our light casting. So go ahead and dream today as much as you can. Zip into that sun. Like I said, we're in Chapter 3 of Sun in Pisces. There's no ruling planet, and this month the Capricorns are working on their thoughts and attitude. With no ruling planet, today is a day of assessment. Your job is simply to assess. So step back, get some popcorn, and watch your thoughts go by. Are your thoughts serving you? Are you falling into attitudes? Are you prejudging situations before you get there or before you assess the actual information? Watch your thoughts. As we move into Chapter 3 tomorrow, we'll be constructing the final attitude for 2011. We'll also be constructing your own personal mantra. It's time for you to come up with a mantra that you live by in 2011. You know what I live by, live, love, be. Come up with yours, but assess today to see what final touches you need to put on the negative aspects of this transit. And Venus, Venus moves into chapter two of Aquarius. Venus is the creation vibration, sending love and creative thinking to a situation. Venus is helping you love and create abundance. You have another couple of weeks now. If you've been thinking about a project, a new piece of artwork, manifesting anything, you're very fertile. This is a time of planting seeds of flowers that will grow into fruit for your soul garden. So I highly recommend you move forward with these creative projects. And if you're looking to make more money, this is the time to at least plant the seeds that will lead to it. You might want to have a preliminary conversation with human resources about how you're about to get more expensive. And it's Thursday. We've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist going live today. Today, a fabulous episode on how aromatherapy can aid and assist with emotions. We get caught in our emotions sometimes, and the flower power of the plants on earth are a lot more effective than Xanax or pharmaceuticals. See what Sadiqa has to say, and see if there's a plant out there that will help you with something you fall into emotionally. Sadiqa is live and wise everywhere Soul Garden streams. All right, my captain, that wraps up today. Tomorrow, some good news about Mercury. Until tomorrow, live, love, be. So good.